Welcome to Dog Eat Dog. Tonight, any of our contestants could win $25,000. But to do so, they have to exploit everything they know about their opponents. Yesterday, we sent them away to a camp where they had a chance to see each other in action. Think of it as getting to know your enemies, or at least what they've chosen to reveal. Well, you need to pay attention. This is teamwork here. I'm really fast. I'm fast in track. I play volleyball. I play lots of sports. So, speed is my number one thing. You can do it, put your back into it. I am so terrified to look stupid on camera, so I think that will be, uh, that'll be the deciding factor for me. Done. Well, I don't find any of these people intimidating. I find them quite funny. A lot of them are really funny, kind of like jokes. I cut my fro off. Everybody else is like knowing who Lee Arv Harvey Oswald is. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've learned it, but. I can send this, I can send this, I can't send this. <laughs> Breathing deep, staying relaxed, staying focused, not thinking about the audience, not thinking about the other contestants, thinking about what I have to do in that moment, blanking everything else out. 3.78. <laughs> they're just gonna be stunned. They're not gonna know what happened, and they're probably not gonna wanna remember it like it did. <laughs> All right, who wants to win some money tonight? <laughs> Welcome to the show, you guys. Here's how the game works. In each round, I'll show you a challenge. Then you guys vote for the person that you think is most likely to fail. Whoever gets the most votes has to beat the challenge or end up in the dog pound. If you do beat the challenge, then it's time for revenge, and you can send anyone who voted for you to the dog pound in your place. Understand? Tonight's first challenge is called the bungee ring grab. We're going to lower you down on that platform over our tank until you're completely submerged underneath the water. We'll shoot you up toward the ceiling, grab those rings, and you keep yourself out of the dog pound. Someone here is gonna have to get a grip on it. It's time to choose the loser. One of you is about to be airborne. Let's find out who you've chosen. Oh, Dina, yeah. it's gonna be you. Constantine, <laughs> Julia, and Thunder all voted for you. Let's find out why. <laughs> Constantine, why did you choose Dina to go first up tonight? I chose Dina because she was talking all that yin yang yesterday when I was up on the balance beam. <laughs> what so kind of yin yang? She was just trying to make me fall, trying to make me fall off the balance beam and stuff like that, but you know, it's payback, and plus, you know, I want to see her in a bathing suit and her hair kind of cringes up. Really? So this is a personal issue, huh? How are you with, like, nerves and concentration and being underwater and all that kind of stuff? Um, I, I'll do okay. I'm not nervous at all. You're not? So I know who I want to go against to me. <laughs> oh, really? You're already thinking about who you're sending to the dog pound in your place? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You seem Definitely. pretty confident. Confidence oh, yeah. counts confident. for something here. Are you ready to take a flight through yeah, the sky? Yeah, let's do Please it. come with me, Dina. <laughs> All right, Dina, here we are in front of the bungee ring grab. Are you excited? Yes, very excited. And, and you said over nervous. there, oh, now you're a little nervous. Over there, you're not nervous. Now you're getting a little nervous. Yeah. Why don't you go ahead and get into your suit because you're about to get wet. Okay. And I'll tell you about your challenge. All right, audience, she's first up. Why don't we give her a little bit of help, a little bit of encouragement? Right? Here's what you're going to have to do. We're going to put you out on that platform in the middle of our tank and lower you down underneath the water. Whenever you're ready, you'll pull your ripcord, and you'll come shooting out of the water up toward those rings. You have to grab four rings within three attempts to win and keep yourself out of the dog pound. Think you can do it? Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds good. Here's what we're going to do now. We're going to get a harness on you and put you out there on that platform, all right? All right, go ahead and get ready.
Nice work. First time around, you got one ring on your first attempt. You have two more chances to grab three rings. Are you ready? Let's take her down. It's time to take another deep breath. You're going all the way under. You've had two attempts, you've got two rings. This is your final attempt. You must grab two rings to stay in the game and keep yourself out of the dog pound. All right? Let's lower the platform. For the last time, Dina, take a deep breath and we're taking you down into the water. time flying the first time was fine and Great. then I was nervous because I knew I had to get two one of these times and I did so, so second time up did you think okay I can do it now I thought I could <laughs> man <laughs> I to the last myself. one you must have been pretty nervous huh yeah definitely well you're probably a little disappointed that's understandable yes. because we're gonna get you unhooked dry you off and you'll be the first one off to the dog pound <laughs> voted correctly. Dina just wasn't able to grab the four rings that she needed to stay in the game, so she's first off to the dog pound. Our next challenge tonight is going to be a little hairy, if you will. You see, the five guests that we have out here are all very proud of their facial hair. That's right. They all have real beards. That means no makeup, no added additional hair pieces or anything like that. The thing is, out of these five guys, one of them is really a bearded lady. Your job will be to tell me who it is. Someone's about to get trimmed from the group. It's time to choose the loser. Close shave when we return to Doggy Dog. Eat dog. <laughs> <laughs> 